Hello, hello, operator. Can you give me over to the main line so I can speak to Jesus? I just need to make sure that 2023 is going to really be my year to year before I post it on social media. Okay. I'll hold. How long is I hold? Dang, 365 days? Oh, my God. Oh. Dang, y'all must be busy up there. You know what? Um, y'all have like a, like a callback line? Call me back sometime next year when the when lines do the, when it's my time. What's my number? Six thousand two hundred twenty. What well, damn? Can I get an email address? Hey y'all, it's your boy Dr. Honey's done. I'm coming at you with what? Another tutorial, honey. Yes, new gear, new place, new opportunities, and new slaves. Okay, period. I know y'all see this space. Nails, face beat, nails snatched, and outfits. Y'all you know, I bring it to you every year. Outfits are going to always be outfitting the way they're supposed to. Okay, honey? We got our wand. Anyways, y'all know how we do these things. Hey, if you are new to my Chanel, welcome to my Chanel, baby. We like to beat the face to the gods, and we like to, we like to sip, honey. Okay, okay? You all love it here. You all love it here. Ah! I'm not always like that. I'm not always like that. And if you are a current and returning subscriber, how are you doing? Oh my God, we in 2023. <laughs> what's your first? What was your first drink of of the New Year's? Mine's was um, I was sipping on some Merlot. I think it was Cab. Cab. Maybe it was Merlot. It was red wine. It was like a red wine blend. That's what it was. We'll, we'll talk more about that later. We'll talk about that later. And if you're one of those people. that sit in a dark corner in your musty, crusty, rusty room watching my videos not leaving a comment telling me how pretty I am because you know I am you're not even trying to like not even subscribe you're just watching my videos trying to think of something malicious to type but you can't because I'm wet For you people who do that, look at that, I got a hair in my tongue, let's see, y'all ain't nothing but the devil, nothing but the devil, anyways, y'all got my little wine glasses, these wine glasses are so cute, I bought a new set because I have to, also look at my wine decator, is this the, I, I wanted, I said new house, new bougie <laughs> <laughs> I got one for wine, I got a decaler for whiskey, and I also got a decaler, decaler for um for vodka too. So baby we got options in this house. Okay, we started New Year's right. But anyways, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. Hey, if y'all like what I'm doing here on the tube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe subscribe for a patty yaddy yaddy and share because sharing is caring and that's the only type of camera we like in this household. Okay? It's so that's on Periosa. Okay, that's on the air and the ooze. Okay, that part. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and usher y'all over to um Ricky so he can go ahead and get that started on the assignment. <laughs> yes, go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and pass y'all over. A pass over, pass over, pass over. Yeah, yeah, pass over. Yeah, it's all over. Honey, girl, I'm tired. Y'all yeah. go, y'all go, y'all go, y'all go. All right, y'all. So. <sighs> We're in the new studio, period. So, first uh, makeup tutorial in the new studio. I probably upload like a little short, um, like a short house tour. But yes, welcome to 2023, y'all. Yes. I like my new wine glasses. These are so cute. And I got a little decatur to go to go with it. Ain't this so cute? Yeah. Let me get a video. I didn't. I didn't think to grab that. Give me. Let me go get that real quick. Cause we sipping on wine, but I want y'all to see the brand. I'm gonna sit up here and talk about the drink of the video, and I ain't even got the bottle. Who does that? Who does that? It's giving unprepared. That's what it's giving. So this is the drink of the video. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is the Joy Cellar Euphoria Wine Wine um California. This is a really good. I don't yeah, if y'all know I don't really drink white wines like this, but this one is really good. So delicious. If anything, I'll put a link to where y'all can order this below. Get it from my girl Natisha. Natasha. Natasha. I'm not, I'm, I'm a little bug right now, so I'm not good at pronouncing names. Let's go ahead and get this tutorial. So, this mostly going to be kind of like a complexion. So, this is like um, my ITZY box that I got last month. So, this is was December. This is the bag it came in. It says Hurrah. So, this is a little baggy. Baggy. And these are all the products that came in it. So, it came with... um. Five full size products. Most of them are complexion. So we got this one, which is a complexion. This one, which is a primer. Then we have a finishing powder by KVD Beauty. And then we have a blush palette. So, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pink lip um, soft matte primer. Girls be your own star. So, this is what the packaging looks like. This is what the packaging looks like. Yeah, so we're going to use that. It says to have a velvety, melt, textured, glide effortlessly over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for poreless effects. Let's see. I really don't have pores like that, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I'm one of those <laughs> lucky girls. <laughs> Put that away. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is so pretty. This is so freaking pretty. This is what the packaging looks like. It's giving a luxurious vibe. And it has the name and all that. This is from Pink Lips Cosmetics. So this is first, kind of like a first impression. Most of these brands I've never used except for um, Beyonce. So this is what it kind of looks like. It's kind of got like a little pink hue to it. So I'm going to get like a brush that I normally use for... Um, Primer, so I'm going to use kind of like this little flat foundation brush. I'm just kind of dig into that, pick up a little decent amount, and then I'm going to start placing it where I want it to go. Right. Yeah, I really don't have um, big pores like that, so I don't have to do too much. But yeah, this move has been very, 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 very. So there's just so many different aspects. I'm gonna put that down the neck. Make sure you always prime down your neck too. You should be putting makeup at least below your chin so that it blends into your face, okay? So I didn't put that on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of kind of just rub it in how I usually do my primers. So just rub it in. It does feel very velvety though. It doesn't really have a smell. But yeah, it does kind of feel velvety on the skin. The velvety. Velvety. Uh, I did kind of make my. Minimize my pores a little more. Period. I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So now, um. Let's see. So we got a finishing powder, and then we have this. So I'm going to open this first. This is the Kenya Octaviero Beauty. This is a glow and go kit. This is vegan, cruelty, paraffin, and oil free. Okay, girl. She says it. <laughs> she says she for those. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is very, it has kind of like a snake skin feel to it. Well, open this bag up. Oh, this is cute. So these are all the colors in here. It's a nice little neutral palette. Um, get that box back. I don't know why I'm throwing stuff. Who do I think I am? Susie? I think I'm Susie out here. So this is supposed to have um, eyeshadows. So eyeshadows. Oh, let me open it up. So all of the eyeshadows. So there's four eyeshadows. Uh-huh. Well, three eyeshadows. 
so these top three here is our eyeshadow. So it gives you a nice little variety of nudes. Um, it's light for me, so it's not going to really be able to do too much with these. And the next part is brow powders. So uh, gold. So gold here, these are brow powders, which I'm probably only going to be able to use that one. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with that. That's that's great, sweetheart. I don't know. Um, Kenny, um, Kenya, Kenya. Well, who? move on. And the next is face powders, which is Joy and Independent. So Joy and Independent are supposed to be face powders. Um, you show. Oh, all four of these. All four of these are supposed to be face powders. So these last four is face powders. Um, cool. What what am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with that color? What am I? I mean, I can do that under eye, but that's gonna look. It got a little shimmer to it, and it got a little a little shimmer to it. <laughs> That's yellow as hell. I, I can't do nothing with none of those. So we going <laughs> we're not gonna be able to use this for complexion because it's a little light skin for me. Um so yeah. Let's see, let's open up the K V D beauty one. So this is the K V D Locket Finishing Powder powder. This is what the packaging looks like. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Lord, don't tell me I done broke it. Well, oh, drop test. <laughs> Nothing broke, so that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. So let's go ahead and kind of try to clean up as I go. I hate my desk looking a mess. Mm -hmm. New house, new rules, okay? Can't be having my desk looking all crazy. So this is what the KVD powder looks like. This is very cute. This is in the color Deep. So you kind of, you kind of see that. Well, let's open it up. So it comes with a little. Oops, let me just fell out. <laughs> oh, it just fell out. Comes with a little puff you can use, and has a little protective. Now, now, who is this deep for? This is giving. This, this ain't no damn finishing product. This is a bronzer. I, I don't know for who, but it's a bronzer. This is gonna be a very interesting video. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my um. I'm just gonna do my normal face. I'm gonna use the Sephora um Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. This is in the color. Ebony, that's the color I use for my all over face. And I like to use a little concealer brush if I can find it. There we go. I'm going to do my foundation and concealer off camera to be honest because I have a video why I do face. If y'all want to see that then just check out like my earliest videos. Yeah, my foundation video. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and we're going to come back and get into the actual products. Okay? Okay. Alright y'all, so I, I put on foundation and also concealer so let's dive into these powders before I start creasing before I start creasing but so far as far as what I'm seeing with the foundation and the primer um my under eyes do look a lot smoother than what they usually do I got my lot of you bro my under eye. it made my that um it most definitely give kind of like that soft matte because you can see it under my eyes really good. I love that. But yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this. <laughs> I don't even know which one to use. They're both tragic. Um, like these, these, I was like, um, <laughs> you know, I'm dark, right? These are both really the same shade. Tragic. I'm. 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 
<laughs> so I'm going to dip into this um, KVD um, finishing powder. I'm going to use this, um, what's this called? This is a contour brush that I use, but I use it for under eyes. And I'm going to use that to set my under eyes. I hope this doesn't give me too much. Uh, okay, well. I mean, that's not bad, though. Yeah, using a brush. Oh, yeah, you see how matte that looks under there? Oh, yeah, that, that. Oh, yeah, that primer did not come to play, baby. Okay. Okay. I was prejudging, I was prejudging this powder because it looked very light up in this pan, but it's not, it's not too bad. Not only is it very light, it's also, it's kind of neutral. It doesn't have any really strong yellow undertones. I've learned a long time ago not to really use um I got a little mirror on here. Let me use this mirror. There you go. But my pores are more definitely pores and clocked out now. They kind of winged it right there. Right. If I'm looking behind the camera, that's because I have my mirror back here. I learn how I want to do the setup. Okay, let's see. This most definitely not an all over powder, so I'm <laughs> not going to even go there. Um, yeah, I'm not going to even go there, but I am going to use it to kind of. I'm going to. Yeah, so I'm going to take. It's kind of like this really big fluffy brush. I'm going to dip into this. And. I kind of use that to set my neck. I'm going to loosely, loosely put this on here because this, this is very light. This is a nice concealer shade for me. <laughs> for me, it's a concealer shade. I don't know about no all over. I put this all over. I'm going to look crazy. But yeah, I use that on the neck, so I'm not doing that. We're not doing that, and this, this one, this one, I'm not going to even attempt to use that. Um, yeah, I'm going to use my normal face powder because that's, yeah, that's a little too light for me. Like, I, ain't <laughs> I mean, as far as the complexion, it's not bad. I'm just going to do my brows real quick. Brows, I don't do too much. I don't be doing too much for them brows, baby. I keep it low and slow and simple, okay? If I can find my brow brush. Hello? Hello? Is it me? I'm looking for. There we go. Found it. Found it! I found it! I found it! He's sorry! He's sorry! I don't know what that made me think of that. Oh, I play entirely too much. I play too much. But yeah, I kind of like this under eye powder. It's a little, look, look a little yellow. It look, it, it looks different on camera. On camera, it kind of reads a little yellow, a, a little, a low-key little olivey. But in this mirror, it looks good. It's amazing, amazing. So I'm just gonna brush my brows up. I just recently did my brows, so I ain't gotta really do too much. Right, I did them boys the other day. So I, oh yeah, I can use this brow. I'm gonna use goals to do my brows. So I'm gonna take this brow brush and I'm gonna dip into this dark color here because I, yeah, I'm not gonna even, I don't know what to do. I don't know why that's in there. Who, who's supposed to use that? But I'm just gonna use that to kinda, so we're just going to smash it. Hello? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> let me try waiting the brush. Let me, let me wet the brush. Because maybe, maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Okay. Uh, well, that was a fail. Oh! 
Oh. It's like, it, do y'all even see that? Cause I don't. Oh yeah, that's that's almost a contour shade. I'm gonna use my contour um shade, the shade here to do my brows. Cause I don't know what the hell that was. Um, Kania, Kania, girl, you could have kept that in the lab. You see how that shows up. It's a disrespect. Sitting here like, hello. <laughs> mm -hmm. Baby girl was not trying to clock in at all. At all. Damn. That's still. Maybe I shouldn't use my contour shade in it. I don't want to make a dark ass brow. I really don't. Yeah, we're just going to continue using this one. Because this one is giving a little more definition for the militia. Because that. The brow um, color in here, child. It's giving very much made, made for people not like me. Right. Be like, Ipsy, what the fuck? Why would you send me this? I just draw my brows on and then I fix it with concealer. I don't really do nothing to the top of my brows because my brows are snatched like that. You know, I'm blessed and highly flavored in the name of the Lord Jesus. So I'm going to take my concealer shade and a nice little um, concealer brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and just clean up under that brow, baby. Damn. Oh yeah, that's a brow, bitch. That is a brow. Uh, uh, don't do that. Uh, uh, if you gonna come out, come out. Not the brush wanna shed right now. This is not the time for you to be shedding. Uh, Oh, that brow. I was kind of worried about this side too because it was. <laughs> this ain't my good side, so that look good. Now, this is my good side. This is the side that can do no wrong. No harm. It can bust the other side of my head. And I'm going to say it's my fault. I should have watched my mouth. That brow's a little sharp on that side. Let me. <laughs> getting somewhere big okay now that that was over um yeah so I'm just gonna use the brush that I use for my face powder and just kind of whatever product I have left I just like to just push it up into the brow so it blends see how that blended just push it up nothing too hard and bam, baby, we got brows. We got brows. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, let's, um, let's go ahead and get into blush. Because this is usually when I do brush. So, we're doing Shades by Shan. This is a San Francisco, California brand. This is the blush palette. You are very beautiful. I love this. And it's kind of like a, kind of like berry expired. So, this one, this, the package looks just like the... And this is very, I love this gray and pink ombre. It's very cute. You know, everything. If the makeup doesn't come with a little film here, don't buy from that brand no more. Don't buy from them no more. So this is pretty much what the colors look like. So we got plum, apricot, raspberry, and peach. 
So apricot is kind of a, it's kind of like a, a nudish, like mauve, like yeah, not mauve, but it's very nude. This is like a, really, this is really pink. This is pink. Plums don't look like that, but okay. Raspberry, and it's kind of like a really mauve pink. And then we got peach. So yeah, we go. Let's see. I think I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use raspberry, cause yeah, and also has a little mirror on it too. So we're gonna use raspberry. So ooh, got a lot of kickback in this pan. Yes, it does. Mm, let's see that right though. I like to take my blush up here. Pigment is there, honey. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, you want to tread lightly with this one. This style looks a lot better because I. Yeah. Yeah. You can use like your foundation um, powder brush just to kind of do this right here to blend that down because that's it. Yes. That was the. Mm -hmm. And then I like to use. Um, the brush that I use for the um, concealer powder and just kind of blend that. Use that to blend the uh, concealer and the blush together. That actually kind of looks good. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that for me. Uh, Who got me blushing like this? Who got me blushing like this? Shane. Shane. Oh, baby, I can get into this. Oh, I can get into this. Yes, I can. Yes, honey. Oh, I love this pot. Yeah. That's a keeper right there. That is a keeper. I'm going to put this in the keep side. Oh, I'm going to keep this in the keep side. So, yeah, I love that. I love that. Okay. So we're gonna dive back into um, Miss Kenia. Kenia, how the hell you say that? Let me take a look here. We're gonna dive back into this because this does have highlighters in it. So the highlighters, um, so these three here are highlighters. So um, I don't know which highlighter I want to use, but we're just gonna. Because we have this palette that I'm using over here, the Ciante palette, which is kind of like a mauvey pink looking vibe. So I want to do kind of like something. I always like to match my highlighters and like I always want my highlighter and my blush to kind of match the look because you don't want to be doing too much. You don't want to be, you don't want to not know your limits and then be doing too much. So I'm gonna take my little highlighter brush, which is the contour blending brush. I love this brush for highlighter. And I'm gonna dip into Joy. So I'm gonna use Joy, which is kinda like a little pinky little pinky vibe. So I'm gonna take that. Let's see what Miss Joy got doing. And we're just gonna Ooh, bitch. That'll do it for me. That'll do it for me. Oh! Ow! Woo! Shiny, 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 shiny. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh god, this is. Oh. Get the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, right here. Oh, this is this is so pretty. And then what I like to do is go back in with my highlight, my um, probably shit, my <laughs> my blush brush. And then I just like to just kind of 
go right underneath that highlighter just to blend them two together. Usually what I do is I put highlighter on first and then blush. So I don't have to go back in with blush, but yeah, I love that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the face. I usually just use the water to spray my face down. Get my little fan. And dry it down. Woo! Yes, God, it's kind of cold. Yeah, so my new place, um, it's very cold up in here. It's it's disrespectfully cold in here. I don't know why it's so cold, but it's cold. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into the eyeshadow. I'm gonna do one eye on camera. We're gonna do one eye on camera, honey. Okay, so I put a little a little concealer on there. So the last product is going to be um, the Ciante the Velvet palette. This beautiful palette here. Here we look. It's supposed to have 12 piece eyeshadows, which that's that's a lot for an, especially for a palette this size. That means they're probably going to be very small. These boxes are not nail clean. Why you gotta keep you some tweezers on dick, okay? You gotta keep them things on you. Ooh, I'm really not trying to come out the box. There you go. That was a difficult color. Ooh, I love this. And even like the packages, it had a velvet feel to it. I love this. And you have like a reflective back. I really love this because it, it plays into the theme. It does kind of have like a velvet touch to it. So this is the palette. And this is the palette. A little protective film. I've already noticed off the back, there are a lot of shimmers in here. There are a lot of shimmers in here. There are a lot. There are a lot of shimmers in here. All right, let's dip into it. Um, so first, just to kind of lay down the base, I'm going to go in with this color here. These don't have names, so it's kind of like a really dark, mauve purple. So we'll just kind of press that right there. Just kind of put that in the outer corner of the eye. Just to give a little pretty delicious definition. I'm just really um, pressing it in. See how that kind of just gave a little... I love this color. So far, I'm loving these. There's not, well, it's not too much kickback in the palette. Just kind of bring this smoke it down just a little. I want that smokiness here, too, as well. So, let me get a little closer. But, yeah, just kind of, bam. Nice little rounded eye. And I'm going to do two colors, so I'm really, I'm really feeling this one. This one looks really pretty in the pan. And I'm also feeling this one as well, so let's do that. So I'm going to take a little concealer brush, no brush, a little concealer brush. And first I'm going to dip into this one right here. Okay, and then I'm going to place that away. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that is. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my god. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh god. Put that right there. Then I'm going to go in with this shade here and put that in the inner corner because it's a little lighter. And these do are, these are kind of like a, they're powders, but they kind of very, they're very creamy, especially how they put on the eye. They don't tug at all. 
you could call it together everything. I think actually I'm gonna go in with this color to see what he can do. Put that color right here. Oh. 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 Then I'm going to go back in with the brush I used with that color and just kind of do like a backwards and forth windshield wiper moment just to blend that in. Bam. That's pretty. That's really freaking pretty. That's <laughs> really freaking pretty. That's really pretty. I'm going to actually take this color here and put that in the corner. That's a matte. But we'll put it over that shimmer just to kind of give it a little, a little something that he can feel. Okay, this does have a little fallout, so um, <laughs> beware of that. But this, this is a really pretty eye. It's a little pretty eye. Oh my god! I'm gonna take a sh detailer shading brush, and I'm gonna go back into that deeper color I use. This color right here. And just shade it under the eyes. Just shade that right under the eyes, baby. I'm also take that same color and just kind of bring your shading along the lash line. Just to kind of create like a a liner effect. Yeah, I'm looking for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on the liner. I'm gonna do the other eye off of camera and throw on a little lippy, a little lippy, and then we're gonna pretty much come back and I'm just gonna give y'all my final thoughts on what I think about all this stuff. Okay, so y'all stay tuned. We'll be back. Okay, so go ahead and get y'all a little refill while we doing that. Right, let's get into this final thought. Before, let's go, let's go ahead and get a little refill, y'all. Let's go ahead and get, let's, let's tippity top the glass on off, okay? Alright. Now that we didn't top our glasses off, what we needed to be topped off, let's take a sip before we get into this. Y'all really should order this wine and try it. It's so amazing. I don't even like white wines like this one, but this one? This this one was a gift from God, okay? This is one of those bottles that Jesus made on the side after he made red wine. This was good. But anyway, we're going to start off with um, the KVD um, finishing powder. Um... My first concern is that this says deep. Um, I will be considered deep, and you deep for who? This this is most definitely. There's nothing deep about this. Um, it's nothing deep about this. I I mean, as you can see, I use this for concealer. So this is this is a concealer shade for me. Um, I would hate to see what KVD's darker shades look like. If this is what deep look like so yeah if anything this is a good concealer setting powder for me but not all over this ain't all over oh this ain't an all over oh no baby I knew you learned <laughs> all over where <laughs> all over my concealer but yeah I'm, I'm gonna still use this because I do like the finish it gives me as far as to just overall just um it makes my under eyes my under eyes look good. This is kind of neutral. It doesn't have too much of a yellow undertone, which I hate. Oh my god! So I like the color, but they lied about this being deep. This is not deep. This is not deep. But just to kind of back up, so I used this primer. This primer really made my application a lot lit. Like I liked it when it said soft matte primer. It gave me soft matte, and it did do what it do. It did blur the little pores that I got. It did the job. So that that's I feel like you can't go wrong with primers to be honest. 
The primer did what the primer was supposed to do. Period. Primers ain't really kind of like a hidden miss, but this right here, this right there. Uh, I'm gonna use that for under eye. That can't be used for nothing else. Now we're gonna get into Miss Kania on the Tezeros Beauty. This is the Glow and Go kit. Um, as far as for just first impressions and just overall, so this was the first impression, and also I did give you a review for that. I'm not really, I wouldn't spend my money to go buy that brand if that's supposed to be deep. Um, this palette doesn't have like a specific as far as for who it's for, but it's just for. If anything, you got your eyeshadows in here. I didn't use these eyeshadows because these are really light. These are really light. These are really light. This might be deep on someone else, but it's not deep on me. Um, I would love to use these two shades as concealer, or not concealer, but as um, eyeshadows. Maybe even like a cute little um, highlighter moment. Now, go this brow, this brow, this brow. Um, maybe if I was six shades lighter, maybe this would have worked for me. But as dark as it look on the pan, I yeah, that didn't give me anything. I do kind of like this highlighter though. The highlighter does kind of have like a it looks, um, so it looks kind of like a, it does kind of have like a, uh, this is more like kind of like a champagne pink, so it does kind of give you like that light yellow undertone to it, I really love it, um, I don't know what the hell I was going to do, I, I can't do nothing with these, this one is, it, it has a very weird undertone, because it's low-key, all those undertone because it has like that greenness to it but it also has a little of the yellow which is it's, it's mustard who wants their other eyes to like mustard um but yeah i have mixed feelings about this palette would i buy this brand again probably not um if that's why i like if you get to try things some things are hits and some things are missed this is kind of a miss for me because the only thing that I would probably use out of it is these three right here. So I'm just pretty much not going to be mostly using this, the whole palette. I might do um, another tutorial using these and also these two. Just to kind of see how it will look. Because sometimes the colors might be darker than what's in the palette. But I'm I'm going to put this in the um, try again. And try again. The try again. Um, the blush palette... I really do like this blush palette. Um, the pigments there. Um, oh yeah, also just to kind of go back to this as well. This does have um, some kickback to it too. Um, a lot more kickback, especially for the face part. There's a lot of kickback in that palette. So I'll say that. This one, this one also had like kind of just a little kickback to it, but it wasn't too much. Honestly, I like this because you kind of cover all your basics with this. I really love raspberry. Raspberry. I have another blush that's kind of a little darker, but I love how this one applies. I might try Plum one of these days, and I might try one of these too. Yeah, but overall, I like these. Um, but this is this is a goal for me. I feel like with blush, I mean, if they're pigmented, then they're winning. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in the uh, most definitely. We we gonna keep that. We gonna that that's that's a for show. A for show. And then last, we got the Ciante London. This beautiful, the velvet palette. Like, I really do, I love this packaging. Like, it feels like velvet. So, I feel like with um, Ciante, they never disappoint. I have a lot, I have a couple products here by them, and they've never disappointed me. Now, granted, this palette does um, have, well, at first I thought it was all shimmers, but it does have a decent amount of shimmers and matte. Because it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shimmers, and one, two, three, four, five of them um, just matte. So you get a decent blend of it. I do like the whole color part of it as well. Um, and these colors are, they're true. They're true to color. They don't give you any other tea. They give you what's in the palette. Um, there's not really a lot of kickback as well, and these does have kickback as well. 
I didn't have to dip in too many times to get them to show. So, Beyonce, y'all got my heart, okay? This, this, this most definitely will get used again. Other than that, that's just overall my whole, um, whole spiel of just my Ipsy review. I am going to do a more in-depth Ipsy review because I'm going to, there's three different subscriptions you can get. So I'm just going to kind of do a full review of all three bags just to kind of let y'all know what it looks like and what to expect. So that'll be coming, that'll be coming sometime in February. So February be looking out for that video, okay? I also have a lot of other stuff that I have planned for this year. But if anything, look, y'all know how we end this thing. If y'all really like what I'm doing on the tube, then y'all should follow me on the media. Y'all can follow me on the media at... There it is. Now, if you want to book a play with your boy, Dr. Honey, you can find your boy on Facebook at Dr. Honey. Play chill. <laughs> yes, you can. Now, if you don't have Facebook, which is understandable, you can find your boy on Instagram, too, at Dr. Honey. Play chill. Period. And if you're just one of those people and you just don't have social media because, hey, life happens and sometimes social media can get very toxic. And your mental health is important, okay? It's important to me and it's important to you. That's why I got a website. You can find your boy on, you can find your boy at dslaychew.com, period. You can still hit me up. We give you options over here, okay? Take a sip. With my whistle. Now, if you want to follow your boy's personal Insta page and you want to see your boy slay the house down, give you bare beauty, face, sometimes give you body, yaddy, yaddy, baby, I just be slaying. Just know that any picture I post is most definitely going to be a lit moment and breath definitely going to be looking pretty. But y'all can find me on my personal Instagram page at underscore it, Dr. Honey. Okay? Okay. And you know, hey. If you want to see a boy be crazy, sexy, cool, give the vibes, energy, just give you just what you need. Give you life advice you didn't ask for, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. So y'all can find your boy on TikTok at Dr. Honey. Yes, I was able to get a change. So y'all can find me at Dr. Honey. Y'all go ahead and give your boy some views. I'm trying to catch back up on my stuff because of this move has just been heck. Well, it has been hectic, but it's just been very draining. So I'm trying to catch back up on TikTok. So I'm going to make some TikToks after this. But other than that, I mean, last but certainly not least, Twitter. You got Twitter. I got Twitter. Why not follow me on Twitter? Now, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute. Before you go ahead and you press that button, let me let y'all know that what I post on Twitter, I'm very uncensored, very raw, very cutthroat. So what I post on Twitter, I'm not going to post on other social medias. And if I do post it on other social medias, it's a watered down version of it. Yeah, you might see a chest of or two. You know, you might see a little cheek. You know, a little a little animal print. Okay, you just never know. Just be on TikTok. Okay, I'm, 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 wild, I'm wild and free on TikTok. Okay, TikTok is the only thing for me. So, yeah. Mm, follow at your rest is what I'm going to say. Otherwise, I'm just going to give y'all a little time. I'm going to give y'all a little time. To get into the whoop to do of it all. Let me sip on this wine. This wine is so amazing now. Mm. This wine is so amazing. I'm going to put where y'all can get this wine from in the description box below. I'm going to give a little link because I really, you guys should try this wine. Especially if you don't drink wine like that or if you just want a really good white wine. This is good because I don't even like white wines like this. So the fact that I'm hot, this going talking braving on about it is just crazy to me so yeah this is amazing and it's the glass too making it better <laughs> the glass making it better this glass is just so cute nails cute glass cute face cute i'm cute we all cute in this house it's just a cute little house i can't wait to do the little tour i finally finished setting up everything so yeah if anything, enough. Now, I really do hope y'all did enjoy my content. I hope it's giving what it needs to give. 
where it needs to give, okay? But if anything, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to subscribe for a baby yaddy yaddy, okay? And share, because sharing is caring, and that's the only type of caring we like up in this household, okay? Okay, anyways, hey, I can't go nowhere until you click some. No, I can't. No, I cannot. Now, if you look over here, somewhere popping up over here in this little corner, it's going to be my most recent video. Go ahead and give it a gander. It might be a nail video. It might be a short. It might be a makeup tutorial. Just go ahead and give it a clickety clack, and y'all can see what's going on. And if you don't want to watch that, you can come over here, and this little corner going to pop up is my profile. Now, my profile, baby, you got options. I got over 200 videos, baby. I got a plethora of videos. Okay, you got options. You got options, okay? I've been away, y'all. Y'all go ahead and click some. At least you want to sit up here and finish this line with me. And this line is very delicious. Oh, it's very delicious. Ooh, the notes. It's the notes. It's the notes, friends. It's the notes of this line. It's like a nice little tea. It's like a little pear to it. I think this one has hints of pineapple. Mm-hmm. Dang, you still here? Dang, you ain't quick now yet. Go ahead, quick from. Oh my god. 